Hello guys, in this video I'm going to explain the dependency injection in C Sharp. Dependency injection is a method of achieving inversion of control. What is inversion of control? It is a concept which states that the class should not have references to concrete implementations of its dependencies. It can only reference through abstractions such as interfaces. The concrete implementations of the dependencies should be provided from the outside of the class. One method to achieve inversion of control is dependency injection. Firstly, we have to create a dependency injection container and declare which concrete implementation should be injected for a given abstraction. Then, the dependency injection container will dynamically inject the concrete implementation into any class which references appropriate abstraction. Let's see an example. The first thing we need to do is to configure and run a new host. The host is an environment which will run our application and dependency injection container. To create a new host, we need to add microsoft.extensions.hosting NuGet package to our project. Let's right click on the project, go to manage NuGet pa packages, and then we can browse and search for microsoft.extensions.hosting and install this package. Inside of the create host builder method, we are configuring the new host builder. We set the worker class as the base process and we configure the deb dependency injection container to return weather service every time iWeather service is requested. Weather service is a simple class implementing iWeather service. It only contains one method get temperature which will return value of 10. iWeather service is a simple interface containing only definition of one method which returns integer and is named get temperature. The worker class is the base class which will be run inside of the host. It uses console write line to output the value returned by the get temperature method invoked from the weather service. This class only has one reference to the iWeather service interface. The dependency injection container will inject the weather service inside of the constructor at the runtime. Let's run the application. As we can see, the value 10 is displayed. This is the evidence that the dependency injection worked, because this class has only reference to abstraction iWeather service and concrete implementation of the iWeather service called weather service was injected at runtime by the constructor. I hope that this quick introduction to dependency injection was helpful to you and I hope to see you soon.